And as you're writing it, you're going to have thoughts of, of where the story could continue to go because now it's real. Now you've actually made it. It's not simply theory now, right? Now it's this thing that you've created and you've written and it's real now. And so it, it sort of writes itself in that respect. You still have to, to keep a very clear view of where you want to direct things and steer things. And that's where editing comes in, but you have to sort of, at least I find personally, I have to allow the story to sort of tell itself a little bit. And then uh, that guides me going forward. So I don't know exactly how this nine book series, season two, is going to end. I know, generally speaking, how it's going to end. I know some of the major events along the way that I'm going to be sure to include, but how I connect those points together, I am leaving up to the, the inspiration that follows it. So it is writing circles. This is the plotter versus the pantser, and that as in referring to pants, like the things you wear on your legs, meaning that... If you are a plotter, you plot everything out and you know what's going to happen and you write the things that you know are going to happen. And if you're a pantser, you don't plot anything. You just kind of have an idea and you go with it. I think I fall somewhere in between, which is where I've found my natural writing style, which is that I want to plot most of the high level things. And then the plot sort of becomes more and more clear to me as I continue to write. And sometimes I have a very clear vision of what I want the plot to be. And I execute it exactly how I envisioned it. And sometimes I have a, what I think is a very clear vision of the plot. And, I, and then I start writing it. And I'm like, no, this is not going to work. This is crap. We're not going to go with that. And I, and I move on or I pivot. <laughs>